Definition of Loyalty by Jay Stone. Jay Stone is signed to Nipsey Hussle's All Money In record label. With a lot of help from legends in the industry, Jay Stone looks to carry the torch and continue the marathon. With all the pressure involved, is Jay Stone poised to do it? How do we feel about it? Here's our honest review of The Definition of Loyalty by Jay Stone. The Definition of Loyalty by Jay Mother Effing Stone. It's a hard title, by the way. Yeah, it really is, man. Had you heard of Jay Stone before this? No, I haven't. I had heard him on older mixtapes and everything like that, but I never really took like a extreme liking and look into what he was doing as an artist. So he has only released mixtapes? So I don't know what he's released. I'm talking about like on Nip stuff. Oh, okay. okay. So it's like I had heard him. I didn't look into him. Just like how some of the people on his album, I never heard of them and I possibly won't even look into some of them. Gotcha. How you feel about this album artwork? I thought it was real cool. I get the kind of vibe from it that like I've grown up, I've learned this game, and I'm still me. That's just the vibe I got off from it. I like the perspective it shot out at the street. And you got the palm trees in the background. I just really like the way it's composed. Yeah, this picture looks like it's straight off of uh man, what is that show that's on um on Netflix with the Hispanic uh Oh, God. um um on the block. On the block, man. It looked like <laughs> it looked like it's filmed on the same street as on the block. There's like twenty music videos. D Smoke looked like he filmed this video here. Uh so yeah, but I, I feel the vibe that you're feeling. Like he's yeah. wearing a suit and he still got his bandana on. So yeah. it's just kind of like growth and yeah. everything like that. Yeah. The flow of this project, man, uh, I feel like Jay Stone tried to tell us his whole damn life <laughs> and gave us like a double album because it felt like a damn double album. You took the words out of my mouth, man, because I'm like, man, there's songs on here. It's just like, well, if I didn't know you. I know you now. <laughs> <laughs> Down straight. Uh, highlights, man. I got quite a few highlights. So uh, the marathon continues the way this joint open, man. It was really hard. I love how you had the nip skits in there. That was really dope. Gave you some insight just to let you know that they day ones for those that didn't know for sure. Um, after that, I go all the way to See You Fall featuring the game. I thought that one was fire. Mine on a million featuring Currency. Another joint that was fire. Build You Up featuring Garen is on point yes. uh, i'm talking about when i heard this i was just like yo there needs to be a music video for this one right away another level featuring benny Roddix. fire fire one of my favorite songs on this project and then like towards the back end of the cd man i don't know what it was but i felt like he started going crazy so uh it's all money was fire last call was fire uh 19 i wasn't a huge fan of the hook or anything like that but um i don't know who pac-man the gunman was but i actually like what he brought to that track too real shit man my, my, my man mozzie man when you put him and wife and lucci on a song together i don't know what it is it just always sounds I good it. i really don't get it <laughs> that, that, that joint always sounds good like you know uh like i said the back end of the city is really good but maybe featuring james Fontleroy was a great song and i felt like that should have been the end of the album right there yeah, man, um, this right here is, is, is just, man, um, I don't know where to start, but Marathon Continues was a great way to set up the vibe. Um, I really love just the, um, the vibe that was presented with track, what, two, three, four, and five. Like, it was just all one rollout because it's just like, if you ain't known about this dude, you know now, and I really meant that. But what, I, what it really got to me was the production on here. The production was hard, bro. Like... Like the production was crazy, especially when it got to um, like Mind on a Million and Another Level. Like I was just like, man, about even on Private Jet, like just him and Wale going over that beat was just so smooth. Um, Built with you, I'm with you on that. That one was hard. Um, All the money in, I really love the production on that one. It is amazing. Real shit. Look, man, y'all, if y'all watch this channel, y'all know I am not the biggest Lucci fan, but whenever he get on the hook. And something with Mozzie is just golden. And just all three of them on there, it, it was just great. Really, really dope vibe. Um, I really enjoyed No Reason and Maybe. Maybe was just, just great to go on. And even though I felt like it should have ended there, I thought Niggas for Life was a cool track with YG, you know. And in the morning, it was all right. I just liked the vibe. I didn't really like what they were doing on the track. It was just the vibe of the track was pretty cool. Low lights, man. Look, uh, I didn't really like the way Trials and Tribulations and Big Back Roll, I'm, I'm Back with Roller, 
and Chick on uh, Ching Check because Don Kennedy just would not be on beat. I know I know it's a West Coast thing to not be on beat, but I'm sorry. I grew up on East Coast hip hop music. I love the West Coast, mm-hmm. but if you're not on beat, it's hard for me to get behind it unless you're doing it in a nice swing where it actually sounds like it works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, when Thugs Cry I thought was another song that it was a little bit on the weekend and uh from the bottom was weak to me. And Niggas for Life wasn't a bad song. It just is that standard, standard. DJ mustard I sound. <laughs> I was just like, oh, come on. Like, I'm so over this, man. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I'm, I'm so over it, man. And uh, I mean, that, that was pretty much it. I already said 19. I wasn't really feeling the beat. By the way, Casanova came in and actually, he, he brought the level of energy up to the 10 on that one. Yeah, man. The only real low light I have about the album is I just feel like it's too many tracks. Too many songs. It's, it's really too many songs, and I feel like in those songs he gave you powerful verses, powerful, you know, production, everything like that. But it just kind of came overbearing. Listen to it the third, fourth time again. I was just like, oh man, this is long. But um, just tracks that I really wasn't feeling, Chin Check. I ain't gonna lie, I had to turn it off. I had to skip to the next track. Is it because of Dom Kennedy? It was because of Dom Kennedy, man. And it's just And like, I've heard some really dope verses for Dom Kennedy. And like his song, with Nipsey yeah. on, his song with Nipsey on his song with Nipsey on Nipsey's uh, Victory Lab album. I love that song. Yeah. And I, I just don't I think it was a combination of that and just like it just the song kept like feeling like it was just going on and on. Um and then uh what was it? Um Last Call with Jeremiah Stewart. I wasn't feeling that. I thought that, oh really? Yeah, I thought that could have been left off along with. Uh, he was trying to do a uh, man uh, sexual healing. Yeah. Baby, yeah. I think over oh, this part, I'm just kind of over Jeremiah, like a little bit because I feel like that was that Jeremiah hitmaker thing where you take a classic song and you kind of just change the hook a little bit, just, a little just bit. to say you yeah. got a hit record. Yeah, and then other than that, uh, from the bottom, and that's about it. Final thoughts, man. Look, uh, I didn't really know Jay Stone's music a lot before that, but from this point on, I felt like I'm going to have to uh, continue to check out his music, man. He's got a dope flow. It's very reminiscent of Nipsey Hussle. It's not on par with the um, same type of messaging overall. It's Don't get me wrong. You get some of that inspiration here and there, but it's not the same type of inspiration I get when I'm listening to Nip. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can go lift a fucking boulder or something listening to Nipsey Hussle. Uh, but... Overall, though, I feel like he he set a solid base. Oh, I forgot to for, I forgot to mention on um, Private Jet. I didn't like the fact that Wale gave us that standard Wale verse. He uses that what? he uses that pocket so much. You didn't even like when he broke out singing? No, I didn't <sighs> like. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't say the verse was bad. Okay. I just didn't like the fact that he broke out the same flow that he uses. Like, there's a million songs. Like, if you go listen to. Uh, um, the first joint, um, the first song, second song on Ambition mm-hmm. is that flow. Call me cocky, I love it. Hey, that, 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 double that, M genius. It, it, it doesn't matter what, yeah, double M genius. Oh, but okay. there's a million Wale songs where you could name where he does that flow, and I was just I like, you. I was just like, come on, you, you, whatever. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, check Jay Stone out, man. Really solid artist, man, and. and like I said, it's, it's too many damn songs because he wanted to tell you his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, what I came away from this is just knowing that, you know, the marathon continues for real. I feel like Jay Stone, not just because he was a, a acquaintance of Nipsey, I just feel like, you know, just because he was probably around that camp, he got the same motivation and vibes from him as well. So I feel like that lived on through this project. You could feel it from beginning to end even though that it was filled with a lot of tracks. Um, but what I came away from this mostly is that he can flow, he can rap, but I really, really love how he put this production together because I was just in the car like, man, this this is knocking. So you got a lot of beats here that will knock, for real. All right, y'all. We got Ace's Man, Jacquees, King of R&B. King of the grade, man. King of R&B. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> I, I, I know you wanted to get to it so bad. Uh Jay Stone, final What's grade. What's your grade, man? Look, man, I'm going to give Jay Stone a check. Obviously, it deserves yeah. a check. It's yeah. a really good album. Too many goddamn songs. <laughs> but it's a really good album. Yeah. Really good, yeah. good, solid project, man. I feel like he's going to be around for a while. He's solid. He just seems like he's literally just picking up where Nipsey left off. And I just think that's really dope. Because, like I said, if you've heard Nip, 
this is going to somewhat remind you of that type of feel. It's different, for sure, but it's going to give you that feel. Yeah, most definitely. I'm going to give it a check. I feel like, you know, it has have too many songs, but I feel like there's enough quality in there to get you over the quantity of songs. And I feel like, you know, this is somebody, you know, you can look forward to if you're looking for something reminiscent of Nip Sound, but actually somebody else that can possibly grow into their own. So I'll be watching them for sure. 